Welcome to this week's installment of the Two Minute Drill. We're here with Nichols football head coach Dale Olmsted. The Bison opened the season with a loss to Westfield State last week. Coach, let's talk about the positives that you talked about in the game. I know the running game was one of the big things you were excited about. Yeah, so obviously uh, Grant Clemmick had a great game, um, you know, did a great job rushing the football. He had a lot of help up front. Um, our offensive line is a, is a mix of uh, seniors through freshmen, and I thought they did a nice job gelling together towards the end of the, towards the, end of the game, and um, there was some great holes created by them. I know we saw two quarterbacks Friday night. Brian Hummel got the start. Mikey McCourt came in later on, gave you guys a little bit of spark. We expect to see both of them a little bit this week. Yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I think coming out of camp, Hummel, um, Hummel did a really nice job. He certainly earned the starting position. And, um, you know, throughout the week, we've been rotating him one and two. I mean, obviously, you know, Mike did a great job coming in, uh, kept plays alive for us. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to go back, watch the film. Sometimes not always what you see until you, you know, break it down a little bit more. So, yeah, they've, they've both been getting equal snaps. Fans, if you can't hear already, we have a little bit of construction going on. We apologize yeah. for that. But that's a good thing that's going on. It's going to help out all the programs here. Uh, back to Friday night's game. Uh, sure. The offensive line was another uh, part of the game that you thought your team played well in. Yeah, no, I mean, Jake did a great job at center. Um, our young guys up front did an awesome job opening up holes. I mean, obviously there's some mistakes, but, you know, I, I thought we had, you know, again, I think a team, the team like we have out there this year is going to be consistency. Uh, we show some, uh, you know, very good moments at times and other times I think our immaturity our, our youth comes out um, but again you know it's it's one game we're moving forward um, as I stated before Westfield State does a great job they're well coached I mean I hadn't seen a quick kick in about five years and uh, you know he, he pulled that off so uh, you know of course we're in the end zone for us so again you know we, we know what we get with Westfield State great coaching good football players but again I thought our team uh, you know had times we got kind of our back was against the wall and um, we came out fighting and swinging, and we did a great job, call, you know, getting back into that game. Um, but again, they, they they had the fourth quarter. They they had a very big drive that uh, we just couldn't get the ball. They were making their third down conversions, and we just weren't able to have the ball one more time to maybe get it even closer. One more question about last week's game. Talk about what it was like coming out of the brand new locker room, down on the field, the atmosphere at Vendetti Stadium. Something a lot different, something we didn't really have last year. Oh, absolutely. As I said, the kids were fired up. Um, the locker room's fantastic. Um, again, you know, it, we can't wait to show it off this weekend. I, in two weeks, we play back out for our alumni games and having the alumni come out and, and check it out. But, um, yeah, they were very excited, of course. You know, on a, on a negative note, you, you have all that excitement. You know, it actually was a great crowd there, too. I, I would say, I think it, they clocked it in about 1500 but there were probably another 500 on the hill or so so it was a it was a great crowd great atmosphere you know and unfortunately you do lose Chris Williams in the very first play I feel really bad for the kid you know we fought hard um, to get back in the starting lineup I, I think he was not only is he a great football player did a lot behind the scenes getting the kids together teaching the young kids uh, which he can still do so he's, he's still a very valuable part of our team and uh, you know certainly wish him well and, and uh, you know he'll, he'll be with us every step of the way. So looking ahead to this week's game, first of two local games, if you want to call them that, Anna Maria, which is coming off a 34-6 to loss to Coast Guard, but they played them very close despite what the final score was. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't know. They might have even had more total yards than they did. So, I, you know, again, um, you know, they're, they're a very similar program to us. Um, you know, they're struggling. We're struggling to get those wins. I mean, I know they've done some great things. Uh, their coach, their coaching staff, I think they have like six seniors starting on offense, three or four on defense. Um, so they, they bring a lot to the table. They can run the ball. They're, they're very similar to Westfield State. You're going to see a lot of pro eye on offense. Defensively, they're an odd front. Um, well, they can go even as well. Um, so, you know, again, they, um, they pose a big challenge. Um, again, it's something's going to give um, two teams that are looking for that win, uh, two teams that, you know, recruit heavily in the Worcester area, so it should be a great game. Fans, the game starts at 1 o'clock on Saturday over in Paxton, Mass. That sets up the homecoming showdown against Becker on Friday, September 18th, but we'll talk more about that next week. If you can't make it out to Paxton, log on to NicholsAthletics.com for live stats and possibly a webcast. Thanks, Coach Olmstead. Good luck. Well, thanks.